Hello, hello everyone. It is my favorite, your favorite time of the week, uh, every two weeks, whatever you want to call it, whenever there's not a break. Um, it is JJK leak time, and this time is a big one. It is a huge chapter that um, we've been looking forward to, and this was a break week chapter. Um, unfortunately, my last video, got uh, I got spanked, okay? Let's just say I got spanked. Um, so it's not up anymore. Let's just say um, I have to be more careful with what I show. Um, as always, if you want the full scans and all that, please go to JJK Mia on Twitter. I will link it in my description. They will show everything uncensored, unfiltered, and all that. Um, but but let's just talk about it. You know, this is my first reaction. I haven't read or seen anything of the chapter, so so please um, please go read it and then come back here and see what I thought. Um, so the last chapter ended with uh, Yuta. Uh, about to face Akuna, okay? He already pulled Rika. He already uses ultimate. Um, but this chapter starts off a little bit behind when, when Yuta had beheaded Kenjaku. Um, and it starts off in that forest, literally right when the beheaded happened. Um, and right before Kenjaku is about to die, he tells y Yuta, my will shall be inherited. And then Yuta calls over Rika and tells her it's here. Due to losing Kenjaku's control, the cursed spirit manipulation technique rampage. So basically, just all of the cursed spirits that Kenjaku had in his inventory, everything he had in his pokey box, everything he just had on him, just completely released and just started freaking, just started pouring out of him. This crazy, gruesome looking thing. Of course, Yuta and Rika just standing strong, um, dodging it. But that's what happens. And then the little wisp thing that that's like the rolls of the freaking killing game, whatever, comes out. And Kenjaku says, Kenny out of rules. So this is go this is explaining what happened in the last chapter. Kenjaku and he is just a head, okay? He should have stopped like he was a head. Tells the freaking the rule thing. Out of rule. F Fushiguro Megumi now holds the authority to activate the merging between Tengen and humanity. Okay, so that's how the rule gets added. Now, this to me, I have a lot of questions. First of all, that's crazy. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Second of all, what? Okay, how how does Kenjaku know that Sakuna was going to take over Megumi? I you know what it was a while since I run the cooling games I've been doing weekly for a little bit so I might need to go back is there a time where like it was publicized like oh Sakuna left Yuji or does Kenny just know there's probably someone smarter right there that knows but let's just move on so obviously Yuta's freaking out I mean <laughs> so am I okay obviously we already know you're two weeks behind my boy but you know that's crazy um and then, okay, what? What? What is this feed? Okay, so there's like a random fetus as Kenjaku is hanging from a branch. And he says, oh my god, are we going to see Sukuna at all this chapter? He says, I created an insurance. Sukuna has already completed the ritual of inheritance. Now all I have to do is rewrite the pairing of the ritual of the merging in the cooling games. And then him as a head just gets flung away. Is that, am I looking at this right? Does the embryo get flung away like it's Angry Birds? <laughs> what am I looking at? Let me see Tabata there. Rest in peace, my goat. I'm glad that the last person I played with was him, Takawa. Takawa? Wow, he's showing respect. Don't it's sarcastic. I don't know you tell me. But I won't say that I got a thousand years worth of fun out of him. Now it's your guys' turn. They love that one. Um, Gege's been loving the, and now it's your turn. Nanami. Um, the lawyer guy, I forgot his name. Oh. What's the lawyer's name? Um, we are not lawyer. JJ. We are definitely not googling it. Higuruma, he fake fan, fake fan. He's like my one of my favorites. Higuruma said similar thing. He said, "Now it's your turn to Yuji when he died." Bro, everybody dies. Okay, everybody dies in this series. Um, to so now, so that was just like a little flashback. So now we're actually back to the battle. So we got Sakuna versus Rika and Yuta, okay? And Yuta's looking a little upset here. He's looking like sad. Maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's thinking about the, the Kenjaku or something. I don't know. Kenjaku says it will truly be fun. Okay, so that's, that's what's happening. So now we're back in the battle. No more flashbacks. Okay, let's see here. Yuta. Okay, so this is Yuta's inner monologue, it looks like. 
Sukuna's reverse crush technique output is starting to return to normal. It's probably just a matter of time before he can use his um, DE again. His domain expansion again. On top of that, Higuruma san was killed. Okay, so he's just analyzing right now. All of this happened because I didn't remain here. Bro, you were you were in Africa. Okay, you should have been here. Wasn't it for the best if I had remained in here and fully supported the execution of sort? Mm, okay. Couldn't Maki san just go and attack Kenjaku instead of me? <laughs> okay, first of all, Maki needs to be doing something. Okay, Maki needs to be doing anything. I don't care if she's killing Kenjaku or Saguna or killing Yuji at this point. Just do anything, please. And then Yuta just says wrong. Oh, my boy, this emo hot topic goat is being hard on himself again. What is he saying here? If the maximum area of release of the cursed spirits was a large, okay, so he's still analytical as fuck. If the maximum area of release of the cursed spirits was as large as what happened in Shibuya, Rika Chan's power was absolutely necessary to stop the cursed spirits without hurting any civilians. Oh no, he's not being hard on himself. Okay, he's actually. He's basically saying, no, I'm glad that I was there when the cursed spirit just spilled all over Kenjaku's body because Rika stopped it. Cool. There. Okay. Giving himself a win for the first time. Please. Thank you. Um, and then we do, we have Sakuna over here grabbing Yuta's sword. Did he snap it? No, no. He took it from his hands. Oh, oh. Sakuna just grabbed Yuta's sword. He's grabbing the katana without touching it by wielding small slashes like a chainsaw? What? Okay, so now Sukuna has Yuta's sword by his by one of his hands. His other hand, he's fighting back Rika. His remaining hand blocking Yuta, and Yuta's just punching him. That This is crazy. And then Yuki, and then he lets go. And then Yuta is now has a sword again. So it's not like a permanent thing. Yuta now has a sword again. That's crazy. And then they exchange blows some more. Rika and Yuta are just jumping the hell out of Sukuna. They're crazy from side to side. Um, and then Yuta saying, it's all excuses. And your monologue again. I wanted to finish off. Okay, no, he's being real right now. I wanted to finish off Kenjaku with my own hands. It's my fault we're in this situation. Everything is my fault. The main expansion! Oh, I was about to get sad. I was about to get sad. I was gonna be like, bro, Yuta, don't say this. You know, I don't care anymore. Yuta, be emo. For the first time, we're seeing the Yuta domain expansion. What is this graveyard? This looks like a parking lot rubble with swords everywhere. True and mutual love, and like the thread of destiny behind them, or whatever the, the string of fate, or something. So, this is a Rika Yuta domain, and yo, oh my god, Sakuna's right there with the freaking rubble. What lone images now? What? 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 Okay, and then Sakuna just pops this bubble. Is that like the small domain, inner domain thing? Hollow wicker basket. I'm sure we've seen that. I can't even think right now. I'm sure we saw that before. And then Yuta has just... <laughs> dude, his whole... He has a whole armory full of swords just in the floor. He just picks one of them. And then he goes up to... So, okay, so Sakuna so did that to dodge like the... the, the Probably like the auto Autobot aim. Oh my god, I can't even think right now. They're clashing. Or I guess I should say Yuta's attacking. Sakuna's just dodging. Usurabi Thin Icebreaker. What? We, got, we see Yuta standing there around the swords. And, oh my god, Sukuna's mask broke. His eyes are bloody. First real damage we're seeing. I'll put this an end to everything inside of the domain. What? I see. So this is their next plan. What is what is happening? Explain to me. I know that this brat with spirit possessions curse technique is copy from Fushiguro's Megumi's memory. Okay, okay, okay. So, so he knows that it's copy. Using the sure hit curse technique as a countermeasure, probably Angel's curse technique. Oh, is that what that was? He's making me use Hollow Wicker Basket to seal half of my arms and mouths, and then he keep attacking me using the unlimited curse technique copy only available in his domain. So he's basically just, just aggressively attacking him over and over and over again, and he can't do anything about it because he's in the domain. And then we see Yuji. What is Yuji going to do? Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. That's the end of the chapter. Of course, it's the end of the chapter. Using the brat's ability. So he's talking about Yuji. Using Yuji's ability to capture the soul with his strikes, he'll rip me apart from Fushigiro Megumi's body. Good for you. And then the announcer stretching out 
the you is intentional, not a mistake. Oh, no, that's a translator. So he's saying, good for you. Okay. Sukuna, you finally got yourself a role. The old and main character strike together. First of all, that line right there, you finally got yourself a role. It's crazy. <laughs> it's true, but it's crazy because, dude, like I mean, I've said it again. I don't really like I don't mind getting my opinion out there. I don't think Yuji's done anything, especially for a protagonist. And I'm a big um, fan. This is a, a reason why I like Black Clover a lot. Not to compare. I know the fandoms right now are, are the girls are fighting. But Black Clover has a lot of good moments where side characters win their own battles without the main characters there to win it all. Right. Um, but I feel like <laughs> Yuji is like, like, what does he have? What does he have? Chozo, if that, um, you know. Yuji has not really done a lot in the story as a main character. And, you know, you can see that as a cool thing or a bad thing. I'm not going to get too into it here because I kind of want to make a video about how Yuta fighting against Sakuna can only lead in two ways. That's a video for another day. But for now, that's an awesome, awesome chapter. We finally got the domain. Amazing name. Probably my second favorite domain because, I mean, come on, Hokari. The name, though, True and Mutual Love, the, the look of it, it captures, like, the darkness of, uh, of Utah's soul, this edginess. It's literally just concrete crosses and swords. It looks crazy. Um, but, yeah, Yuji finally has himself a role. Great chapter. Um, utilizing Utah very well. They could have very easily just either killed him or just had him just destroy Sukuna. But then again, where does that leave Yuji? Um, but, yeah, amazing chapter. Uh, I hope this video doesn't get taken down. I really enjoyed this chapter. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.